Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So it's been time to do some more grind. Well, there's got to be lots of grind at the moment because what we're going to make for the rocket is just takes time and a lot of resources which I don't yet have. Now, one thing I've noticed is I've actually used up all of the moon rock because I moved the mine to the world of mining so it's got to the, the moon of mining so it's got to take a bit of time before it gets down to moon rock. Anyway, all of that's been processed so let's have a look at what I'd like to do today one thing I'd like to do today well I'm going to look first of all at a trick that I've been given by C. Cindy let's have a look at this trick what she says is if I go down here she set up the same process that I've set up here for making um, enderium ingots like that now if she says if I change this here to not to ignore the contents of the inventory target inventory but do not push crafting items if the inventory c contains items and I think that's what we have to do I think that's those are the two choices so let's try that and see what actually happens I can do that over here of course so it takes a bit more time but that's not such a big deal we've got six ingots let's craft another we've got seven of those Let's craft um, 32. So we've got enough resources to do that. And let's start that and see what actually happens. So that should come over here. And it should go into this chest. Well, for some reason we've got sulfur here, but it does seem to be working. I guess that sulfur is actually dis disappearing as it goes through. So that seems to be working. Even though I've got plenty of those, normally that would have filled it up, wouldn't it? I would have had those ingots being produced and getting blocked. So what's going on here? Sulfur 64. There's something actually getting blocked on here. Yes, we've got no calcium carbonate. Why have we got no calcium carbonate? Let's push that into there. Does that work? It wasn't even full. Ah, oh, maybe this was just taking its time. Don't know. <laughs> That's now empty. And everything's gone from there, so that probably did work. But uh, you can see what was happening. Calcium carbonate. I don't ask me why it didn't go through it should have done because that's got a rationing pipe on here so maybe this needed a speed upgrade it's got to produce speed upgrades in it well, anyway that was a trick now what I want to do is basically over the next time is look at this bit here I've got a whole load of ore processors more well, magna crucible smelting ores down um, which are actually coming from Moomot. What I think is happening is so some of this could be causing some lag. This is just a, a chemical synthesizer doing not very much. And these are basically also chemical synthesizers producing the different ingots of every type of metal that we've got there. And at the back we've got chemical synthesizers producing different, different materials. So what I'd like to do, let's just see if this actually makes a difference. See so what happens if I break this block here. and this one here so that and if i actually do the same to the power magna crucibles i could actually turn off with a switch a lever might even be better because that's actually got to use up that'll use up oh, let's have a look try to get something so that'll now fill up until it's filled up let's have a think let's get some levers out of the system and put one on each of these machines and enable that I've got seven levers. I really need a couple more than that. So let's just see what we got for sticks. Oh, it may be better to do it this way. We'll take ten. And then let's just put those onto these. Make the crucibles here like this. Oh. 
the lag is just is actually quite bad at the moment so I, don't, I really don't like this lag so what I was thinking of doing another option for this let's set it on high turn it off is that on stay on that's probably then I don't want high I probably want low no I actually want well hold on what have we got the state is on so that should be working good turn it off let's take that to high should stop I right, tell so just finish it off that one good let's set those to high and high what I really want to see is if this actually stops processing stuff Fortunately, where I put the levers isn't exactly the best the best place to put them. Just put that into there like that. Yeah, that's high already. I think they might already be done now. Let's have a look. It's actually they've all gone a bit darker, so I guess that means they're not active. Oops. <laughs> I wanted to I want to touch this one here, and I can't get to it. Yeah, that's stopped. Okay, good. So that. I don't suppose it's going to affect the, sp the speed that much. I could actually put this back in again and get feed the feed it out and put this one back again as well. If I get the right one, it is the one at the back, like that. And that'll actually feed it up, but they won't they won't run. They'll stop because we've got plenty of resources in here. See that'll start to fill up again, and everything's gone out. So what I was thinking of doing here maybe that's okay no no it's not a case that we're still getting some GPU warnings when I'm moving around is to move some of this stuff to the moon of mining especially these these magna crucibles I could move there no problem at all and I could bring this the items back with some um, ender tanks couldn't I and that's one possibility another possible another thing I want to think about is this Where's our moon rock? What have we got in here? Moon dirt, moon rock. And you can see the moon rock is actually empty and there's a storage bus on it. What I've, what I've think about, I've had a thought, if we take this away like this, and I've got a second one, which is here, which has actually got an export bus on it, hasn't it? So let's just remove that one there. What I was thinking you can do is this. If I put these two down, just a little bit of space away from the others, and that's locked moon rock good and then this, this one is where's it gone to here we go storage unit like that what you can do with uh, storage buses is to give them priorities so what if we could do here let's go to now oh, I got some more storage buses yeah I've got three good let's put these down on here, here like that and you can give these priorities so if I example for, I want this one to be say priority 10. Okay, and this one had to be priority 2. Then everything in the, should come into this one and nothing should come into that one. That's the idea. So, well, let's just test it. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, yes, I'll have to do it from the, from the side. I want to, and I'll remove it first of all. What I want to do is I want to put an import bus onto that and import that into the system. And I don't want it to connect to this one just yet, so we'll just go above it. Like that. And so I have to say what I want to import. Oh, it's, no, I don't have to say what I want to import because it's going to do that automatically. So let's put them some acceleration cards into those and get it to import very rapidly. So what the idea is, if this was a trash can here, Instead of being a cached unit, what we could then do is we could basically fill up this one first and then trash off everything else. Now, the advantage of that over the emitter method is that if we do it this way, you can have nine items. So you could basically have a with the emitter method, you basically can only have one, so one emitter for one particular type item type. 
But if we were doing it with a storage bus like this, and setting onto the storage bus what we actually can control, which is basically all of these items here we can speed up, put in, and that will give us 18 different types of items. We could then trash off 18 items, and of course you could then, you know, double it. And we've got five, how many have we got here? Nine times nine, 81, is it? Yeah, so you could have 81 items on one trash can, as opposed to having nine, 81 emitters, which I think is quite a good way of doing this. So that's going through nice, slow, nice and slowly, but through. So we can actually wait for that. I'll have to come, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's think about that for a second. The other thing I want to do is we have in our quests, if I go back to our quests and look at crystallize, we have the possibility of getting endless water. So that's 66 billion RF, and that would give us one aqueous accumulator. So if I've got 66 billion RF in my system, I could then probably cheat one of these in. I think the RF's going up anyway. No, I haven't got it yet, but it is going up. And when I reach the 66 billion, maybe we'll take one of those and see if we can get it to work. Because even you can even see those numbers numbers there was a, on this was actually they're jumping. They didn't used to jump. They were much smoother than that. So that's why one of these I really want to get this thing sorted out. And since I can't use quantum rings because the recipes broken I was thinking of doing it this way anyway let's go back to this let's see how, it's, how well it's doing so you really want to empty this out completely is it still going down it is still going down it's going to take a while for that to do that isn't it so let's think of something else to do in the meantime let's go and see how we are doing with our different bits and pieces so for example in our rocket, what have we got now? Our T3 rocket didn't click. <laughs> That's a bit, oh, try this one. The rest of this actually makes two tier three rockets. So we've got this. So aluminium holes were actually waiting on, weren't we? So that was being produced. We were producing blocks of aluminium. That's how many? How many aluminium holes can we do? We've got 16, and we need to make 16. So let's try this. I should just do it the other way, type 6 and press next. So we're still short of 219 blocks of aluminium. Wow, so it's going to take quite a long time to do that. Because we're actually making blocks of aluminium and I think they're being made in here still. And we should have plenty because we've got no shortage of aluminium. They're come, they would come into there from here. Yes, that's still working. I wish there was a way to make this go faster without adding more metal casters because the one thing for certain is it's not going to be a problem that's actually taking quite a long time to go out of there isn't it that's very strange in fact I think it went out and it came back into here very fast so that was 219 before let's see what we've got this time so that will come in eventually and then we can make those 16 now what else have we got to do here? This was the next one. Steel hulls, wow, fantastic. These are just a pain. I'm going to be really honest, they just are, are a pain to make. So that's going to take a long time. We've basically got two and we need four. These two are also a pain because of this. I might use my exploit on these because I think that's probably a good technique. I might even use my exploit on dashes for that matter because it, it takes such a long time. And I don't really want to wait for it. These no problem. We can do these straight away, I think. So, tier two. Let's have a look how we're doing for plates. Right, we've got one of those. So we can actually craft. I think we needed 10 of these, actually. So we need nine. So we do have everything to make that, so let's get on and do that. In fact, while I'm here, let's have a look at how we're doing for rock. 
because that's actually gone up to 47k and it's jumping up and down the reason of course it's jumping down is because I'm, I'm basically processing that into here as well so these machines have got all got moon rock in them they're working like crazy processing moon rock what I could do of course is to disable these because I'm sure I don't need the resources now how can we do that there's no interface on here well I'll tell you what we can do let's to remove the acceleration cards from the export buses then they won't work as fast yeah and then the actual quantities of this should go down because if I'm not mistaken it shouldn't be coming in as fast as it's going up it looks like it still is well wow. okay maybe that's not going to work let's have a look see how we're doing down here if it's actually imported all of those that moon rock well halfway down now tell you what i'll pause it and i'll come back as soon as it's gone down to a low level right back again as you can see the lip is going down around about six stacks uh, a tick or whatever off second or whatever it is so a bit soon empty in between times i shift right and clicked it to lock the contents to being moon rock because i only for this demonstration i don't want to do anything else good so we've got one in there so what we can now do is to wait a second while my printer does its business again actually i change the calibration on that to be once a week so let's just remove this and we can remove this and this we can remove all these bits over here now so what we're going to do is put back the the me storage bus on top of this one like that and set the priorities for that to be let's just do it once fine so this one's got a priority of 10 so all of the moon rock should come into there so i think i'm going to have to move it around a bit for that to work but uh I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet. We'll figure it out though. So that's got none in and that's got one in. We should have one in it. So what I need to do now is to tell the system to push the items out again. So how are we going to do that? Let's go and think about that a second. Um, <laughs> basically, I want to export and import it again, don't I? So let's just do that. What am I going to export that to into a cache, I guess? Have I got any caches in here? No. We have to make one. But we don't need to make a cache. We could make a storage. What? Tier 3 storage unit. We've got no ender poles, of course, because I used all the ender poles up before. Let's grab 32 of those while we're waiting. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, it will actually take quite a long time. Okay, so I can't do that. Well, so therefore we'll just do an ordinary cache. Let's just have a look. Have I got any caches available at the back here? No, not really. There's a cobblestone one free here, so it's got that's got a thousand blocks, and of course it has yes. So I just have to make a cache. There's nothing else for it. Next one up. I'm not sure how many we need. We've probably about forty. Thousand? No, maybe more than that. We'll need more than that, of course. That'll do. That'll hold one hundred and sixty thousand. Good. So all we really need to do is to imp import this and put it, put it out again. So let's just export out of here. Got, I've got some in rock with me. Let's put this cache down here, reinforced. Let's put an export bus onto that. 
I've only got one stock. Oh, that's not so not. Let's put some mean rock into that and then push these accelerator cards into that like that. And that should then start to import into here. Now, if I at the same time take, sorry, export into here, if I then take an, an import bus on here like this, and then connect that into here, it should take the contents out again. I'm just wondering whether or not those contents are going to go into this import bus. I don't think this export bus. You can't set priorities in export buses. That's why I came up with the idea of using two storage buses. Let's go and have a look, see if that's actually working. Still got only one in there, that's good. And as you can see, here it's coming in. So it's coming in here first, and when that gets full, it'll come across into this one. I don't think it's going to get full because we've not got anywhere near 640,000. But what we could do, of course, is to make another cache and shove them into that. Let's do that as well. If we just make a simple cache, and it doesn't matter if I've got an extra one, and let's put that down. On the t at the same time as I do that, I'll make sure that the storage bus is just set up to export um, moon rock. So let's just do that first of all, and then we can then we can remove this cache here like this, put down this one, and as you can see, it's going in and coming out. Why is it going in and out? Huh. Probably because of the um, yeah. Let's go and stop that as well. Well, I can have got acceleration cards on here. No, I can't. Otherwise, there's only capacity cards in that. So let's go and stop the. Ah, uh, maybe it's being imported from here. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll tell you what I will do is I'll go upstairs and we'll stop it from coming out into here, from them being sift. So we should simply break this block here, on this one. So there's nothing else that's going to get out to the system there, so it's going to just stay in the system. Oops, too wrong way. So what's happening here? Okay, <laughs> yeah, I thought that might be the problem. Let's just remove this off here like that. Because it's finished. We've only got 16,000 moon rock in the system there. Moon rock in the system now, so that's gone down a lot a lot this terminal is offline this terminal is offline because I broke what that's um, unexpected is that very good? no, nope, can't be that's a bit of a surprise because they're all offline down here uh huh I don't think they were coming down through here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that is the way down. Let's put this back again. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll remove these um these uh, export buses from here first of all. All five of them. Because to be honest with you, I don't really need the stuff at the moment. Let's put this down here like that. That'll connect you back up again. Have I got the five export buses back again? Yes, I have. Good. Let's go down. So things back online again. Looks like it. Nope. Why is this off? Leave us on. But there's no power there. And now that's red. Oh, that's strange. And that's very strange. How we got in here now? 16,014. Let's, let's have a look for rock. Moon rock. It's not showing up. Okay, good. Yeah, that's fine. Because that basically means everything's in here. Good. So we'll actually remove this one then. And then we'll put the import bus on this side. And we can speed up the import bus with these. So we then get everything imported in very fast, which is good. 
So it should be coming into here fast now. In fact, I got a feeling, yes, that should be work. So we should get in here 10,000 fairly quickly, and then we've got 16,000, so 6,000 should end up in here. It's not going to take very long at all to do that. So that's now filled up, and as you can see, it starts to come in here. So that is, a, I reckon, a pretty cool way to, to avoid stuff off if you get too much of any one thing in your system. And you normally end up, when you're doing playing mod packs, you end up with too much stuff in the system. So we'll look at this again now. That's actually going down. Where's that going to? That's actually strange. I don't know where that's gone to. Maybe there's somewhere else I'm importing it into and I've forgotten. Oh well, that's another challenge for me. I'll have to think, I'll have to figure out what's going on there. Oh, I do know what's going on there. It's gone into here, hasn't it? Oops, I voided off all my... <laughs> oh dear, I didn't intend to do that. I must have forgotten to turn it off. Yeah, I basically got... It becomes trashed. We've got no, nothing in there, nothing stored. It's just got dumped. That wasn't uh, all that clever, really, was it? <laughs> There's another way to dump stuff off for you. Stick it into a matter condenser with nothing in it and it gets trashed. Well, that, well, I proved my, I proved my point and I've also, I was about 400,000, uh, even more moon rock. That's uh, quite a lot of moon rock that's gone. <laughs> Whoops. Never mind. I don't need it. I'll be honest with you. Because if you look at this stuff in here, molten iron, 20, 92,000 buckets, silver, Fabric, although, okay, these are the ones which are destabilized redstone. So anything with 16 buckets is one basic thing. 7,000. We've got plenty of. They're all around about 6,000. The only one that could be low is lead, and I think that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, slightly shorter episode than normal. Next time, you'll, you know, we're going to carry on with this rocket stuff. I'm going to try and basically either I'm going to set up a separate server for doing the the back end processing so that the quarries and things function when I'm not there. Or I'm going to I'll maybe do that as well, move the stuff across to the moon of mining and then just have some processing down here. That might be another way to do it. So anyway, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.